Hello there everybody. I just want to give you a quick update before we jump into readings and that is to tell you all we are now at 21% of the goal. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the help that everybody has been throwing my way. It's just absolutely amazing to see it all coming in and get to meet you guys. So thank you all so much and now on to the reading. Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for stopping by. Let's take a peek at your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of August 1st through the 7th. Wow, what you have coming up on Monday is the Ten of Swords. Not exactly my favorite way to start the week, but not too bad either, I guess. Um, this is talking about an ending of something, and this is could be the ending of something that's been contentious and going on for a while. And this is um, really the ending of this thing is a relief when you get right down, excuse me, when you get right down to it. So whatever this is, even though um, really it doesn't matter if you've won or if you've not, if, or if you've not won this, just the fact that it's over is something that feels good to you. So that's what we have coming up for you on Monday, Aquarius. On Tuesday, what we have coming up is the Magician. And the magician is just telling me that on Tuesday you're going to be doing a really great job of bringing what you want to life. Making those things manifest that you want to make manifest. Taking what you have and making what you want out of it. So that's a really good card to have come up. I always like to see that one. All right, Wednesday, what you have is the King of Clubs, Aquarius. King of Clubs is somebody that you're interacting with on Wednesday. This is someone who's very creative and expert in their field. They think outside the box. Um, they don't uh, conform so much to the rules of the world around them. What's going on with you and the King of Clubs on Wednesday, Aquarius? I think that you guys are going to be butting heads a little bit. Mostly having to do with the idea of this guy does not want to conform to things around the world. And you would like this guy to conform to things around the world. So this could be a significant other. This could be a co-worker. This could be a boss. This could be an uh, employee. Uh, but there's somebody that comes up that um, they're not really liking coloring in the lines, so to speak. And so you and them are having a little bit of a headbutt over that. Or her. Could also be a her. Um, let's see. On Thursday, we do have the Emperor showing up. To me, I feel like this is really your energy on Thursday. And you're just kind of taking control of your own situation. You're making the decisions you need to make. You're not leaving those in anybody else's hands. You are... Um, what I'm hearing is you're taking care of business. <laughs> now the emperor is somebody who is large and in charge, so to speak. They're also somebody who has really great morality and integrity. Um, they're not somebody who stabs somebody behind the back or says anything negative. They're somebody who's a really good friend to have in your corner. Um, they are also somebody who expects a lot from themselves. So you will be expecting a lot from yourself on Thursday. And um, this type of person expects a lot from the people around them, but is very fair to those people around them. And also, um, this person does not make what they expect from people around them a mystery. They're very upfront and open about that. And so um, the people that, that live up to those expectations, um, the emperor gets along with just great. If there's somebody that doesn't, then there could be trouble. So I see you really kind of taking control and sort of handling this day in an emperor type style, Aquarius. On Friday, we do have the Knight of Cups showing up in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse just talks about um, really letting out some resentment that you have against someone, possibly somebody who is a significant other or uh, a partner in uh, the romantic world for you, but this also could be um, letting out some resentment against a friend or a family member or a co-worker as well. But the Knights always talk about taking action, and when the Knight of Cups is in reverse, this is sort of a... Um, it's an emotional action, but it's kind of on the negative side of the scale for emotions. So resentment, passive aggression, that type of stuff is what I expect to see from you, Aquarius, on Friday. Not all of you. This is a general rating. Not everything I say is going to apply to every single one of you. 
And also, free will changes everything. So if you hear something you don't like, you have the power to make the change. All right, so let's look at Saturday. You have a Four of Clubs showing up in reverse. And the Four of Clubs showing up in reverse is just telling me that there's somebody leaving the nest. If this is a relationship issue, then this could be taking some time away from each other. If this is um, something that's a little bit more mundane, this could be a neighbor moving away. This could be somebody going on vacation. This could be a friend um, going to work at a different branch than where you are and, you know, with plans to come back later on. Uh, but somebody leaving the nest is basically the bottom line here. For some of you Aquarius, this is going to be you leaving the nest, but I think that for the majority it's going to be somebody that is in your sphere of influence that's actually leaving the nest on Saturday. Now Sunday what we have is the Strength card coming up, and I like it when she comes up right side up. The Strength card just tells me that you're feeling... Um, really comfortable with who you are, comfortable in your own skin. You accept yourself for yourself. The good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, it's all you and it's all wonderful. <laughs> That's where you are whenever we get to Sunday and we see that strength card. So I love it because even though, um, you know, it can seem like to accept ourselves in a place that's not really where we want to be or we're not being the person that we want to be can seem like it's not so good. Um, I think actually it is pretty good, <laughs> a little against society on that. I think it is pretty good to accept even the bad things about us or the not so hot things about us. If we can accept our dark side, then we can acknowledge that it's there. And if we can acknowledge that it's there, then we can be proactive about changing it should we desire to. So to me, uh, accepting even the bad is so important in allowing us to be proactive in moving forward. It really frees us up to move forward because if we can't accept that we have a dark side, then obviously we can't fix it because we're not even acknowledging it. Um, the other thing though that I like about the strength card is that we're also accepting our goodness. We're accepting our light side, the wonderful part of us. And because we are accepting that wonderful part of us, we are acknowledging that we have a purpose in the world and that there is some worth to us. And so that also is very good. And it's inspirational, not only for ourselves, but also for the people around us. Because when we can recognize our own worth and recognize our own purpose, that makes it that much easier for us to recognize other people's worth and acknowledge it and recognize other people's purpose as well. All right, so Aquarius, that is your week. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week, and I'll see you back here the next time. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves. And I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. 
Um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no do donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.